Okay, right there is the one that's completely done. The top comes off so you can put the uh, bird feet in. Also, I gave him the option to be able to take the whole top off as well. The whole top comes off. the inside of it. Metal bars in here to keep the scrolls from eating through the uh, wood dowels he originally had in his original one. All treated wood, treated plywood and treated uh, fern strips. I have the dowels keyed in, but I have one large dowel here and then three smaller dowels so you can't mess up and put it on there. It goes on like this. Drops on there. And then the top goes on. Okay, so that's the this one here finished and here's the one I'm working on the second one here now and I'm documenting this here so I can give myself a little reference of how I'm going to uh, establish and put on these here roof panels, the underlayment and uh, we've seen the other video, we've seen how I did the shingles now it's time to put the actual underlayment on now and to do the angle cuts for that now on my uh, compound miter saw and the tricks I'm going to use and the techniques I come up with for uh, holding the stock on the compound miter saw to do the uh, bevel uh, angle cuts, the compound angle cuts. And that's coming up next. Okay, the first thing in order would be to establish the plumb cuts. Like this, I have to put it like this. And that's shown 30 degrees. The sheeting's cut now. Now it's time to cut the uh, parts here that will go on top of the rafters now. That will go up on top of here like this here in between now. Again, I'll use my plumb cuts for that.
of these I have to uh, take a measurement here, an angle measurement. And the way I do that will be, what I do is I use my uh, angle gauge here. And I'm looking for a straight line across the front here. So I've got a straight board here. And I have to lay this as close to the flat here as possible because that angle would change with respect to height. In other words, if this thing was uh, in this direction here, it's going to change it. It has to be laying flat as, as much as possible. And then I take the board here and just put that across here like this here. And I just more or less just uh, get that as close as I can in that orientation there. And make sure again that I'm flat here as much as possible. And that I'm even here across here and here as much as possible. And just more or less work that back and forth like that until I get that established, the angle established where I want it at. And that's how I do that. And then once I get that angle established there, then I just use my square and I line that up with the corner that says pivot like that. And I'm shown here about uh, 20, de well, about 20 degrees. That's about 20 degrees off of zero. That would be on my miter saw right there. It is 20 degrees. So now I'll set my compound miter saw to 20 degrees. And I also have to get this here level as well. This is all marked as 20 degrees on this side. And then I'll do the same thing on this side, and then I will uh, get the bevel. Okay, when I check the other side here, same procedure I did before, I ended up with about uh, 19 degrees. So that's pretty close. Okay, so 20 degrees here and 19 degrees on this side here. Okay, now I'm going to get the uh, bevel this way now. To figure out the bevel, I'm just taking a piece of uh, the stuff I'm going to be using here, and I'm just expanding here from corner to corner here so that I'm tight on both sides here and I'm just uh, just taking a small a quick measurement here of the gap that's about a sixteenth of an inch maybe close to a sixteenth over a sixteenth and so what I'll do is I'll just, uh, I'll just again I'll just uh, get that in camera here I'll just eyeball that down about like that and then I'll just take a little angle here it is to there. I'd say about probably like that, maybe right there. And that's about like eight degrees. Let me uh, check that one more time here. Okay, I'll cut at 8 degrees and see what it looks like. At 8 degrees, and let's take a look at it here now. Okay, I think that's going to work okay. 8 degrees seems to be a pretty nice uh, fit. I'll go with 8 degrees for the bevel now. The first thing I'm going to do now is take my first panel here and line that up even across the top here, here, and here. And then on this side, I'll make one mark on this side here where that intersects. And I know that that has to uh, be beveled this direction here. And this is the bottom. Okay. So now I know that my bottom is here. That's my line, reference line right there. And my bevel goes this direction here, then I had to put it on my compound miter saw in this direction. So I have to set this to uh, that 20 degrees because this would be 20 degrees. Like that. And this just gives me a reference to uh, work off of when I line up my saw. All I really need to do is just line this up right here. Pause carry this through a little bit here and that'll be the first cut okay 20 
degrees. Walked in to line my workpiece up to where I want it at. And I put a block in here. And I put the uh, fence up. Lock the fence in position, tight to there. And then I bring the clamp over. And clamp everything in position. So I'm now referenced off of here. The workpiece goes tight to here. And this holds the reference block down tight. So I take a measurement now, corner to corner, that's six and a sixteenth, six and a sixteenth, come down here, now that six and a sixteenth is going to be the uh, bottom corner, so it's going to be the bottom of the bevel here. I turn it on the back side and I come over that six and a sixteenth. Set my angle to nineteen degrees now. mark and this again is, is reference now again. I'll cut it a little bit long and then trim it as I need it and back over to the saw again. Okay now I'm going to turn the miter saw to uh, 19 degrees in the other direction. before is going to go back together here to give me some support cut what I do is I use my laser on here for the guide to line up a line I line up my line on that then again I adjust my uh, stop here lock the table here put a little stop lock there and I use that cutoff piece to give me support for this piece here and then I use the clamp and clamp everything down tight here and so now I'm clamped nice and tight. I got all the support I need again against the back fence here. And I'm supported here now. And so I'm ready to make the cut. Turn the laser off now. Okay, let's take it over and see what we got. All right, ready? Okay, all I gotta do now is just do a little bit of uh, shorten it up just a little bit to get this here to match clean to here, but we're getting there.
Okay, so that's how I get that cut in there like that. And I'll continue on with the rest of them now. Okay, the uh, roof panel's done. Ready for the shim shingles. Four and after shots on both of these. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.